Everyone's still awake out there? I know it's getting late here. Uh, hopefully you guys will bear with me. I'm not much of a speaker, so um, when I was asked to do this for Patrick, it's uh, definitely an honor and a privilege uh, to talk about Patrick. Patrick's been a 35-year member of our local Union Hall Carpenters Local 1260 in Iowa City. He uh, served on the e-board there for numerous years, uh, 25 years. He served as our recording secretary. Um, he also served as an organizer for the Carpenters Local 1260. He, um, after retiring, uh, served as office manager for us. He's always always been there to help us even to this day. I reach out to Patrick for a, a lot of help in, in my career. Uh, Patrick has, has been a, a pillar to the community as far as uh, serving late, lo local labor. He's done a lot of things to uh, to help get places like Blooming Prairie and the co-op uh, into, into existence. He uh, works very hard on um, issues with the Iowa City Federation of Labor, which he sat said, said on uh, as a delegate for, for numerous years. He, I, I believe uh, he's been the president of that that uh, organization for 21 years of the 25 years he sat as a as a delegate. Uh, he's he's put together a lot of programs through Iowa City Federation of Labor, such as uh, the uh, license plates that we do through Johnson County. We uh, take and uh, recycle them and put them into our uh, community account, and, and it's handed out to to local charities. I want to say that. Through the years that's been going on, looking through my notes here, uh, I believe they have uh, put out over thirty thousand dollars out to local charities here in Johnson. Um, and, and that's just the tip of the iceberg on what he's done for this community. He's worked on numerous projects, as uh, like the ramp program, which helped uh, get accessibility to uh, people that. Um, needed it, you know, uh, a lot of people, when they have life-changing incidences, uh, it's hard to get them back into their home. So through uh, the uh, Johnson County Housing Accessibility Program, they work to, get, work to build ramps uh, to give these people access to their homes, and Patrick was one of the pioneers on that. Um, Patrick has I could go on and on. He's uh, served on the Central Committee here for the Johnson County Gems for numerous years. He uh, currently sits as the Township Trustee for the Town of Oxford. He's still very active in, in all these endeavors. Actually, we're going out to Patrick's house tomorrow to, to do another 50 boxes of license plates. And uh, we enjoy doing that, the camaraderie of and everybody coming together. I can look out now. Crowd now and probably see you know, in about 10 people that I'm more than likely to see more at Patrick's house. Um, one of the things that Patrick shared with me right before he left, and it was going to be his, his joke, was when he started uh, working with the Johnson County Dems, at the time there was a sheriff here named Greg Hughes. And he was approached later on and asked if he would ever th thought of running for sheriff. <laughs> which is pretty interesting if you know Patrick. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, I could go on and on, and you know, I, I've only known Patrick for a short time. I've served on the e-board. I, I took over when Patrick stepped down as recording secretary for three terms. I'm, uh, I just currently became the, the uh, business representative for Parker's Local 1260, and Patrick has helped me a lot in this transition and, and gave me a lot of advice and, and led me down the path that, I, that I'm on uh, now. I kind of feel like I followed Patrick a little bit. Um, here recently, about four or five months ago, the state fed had come and interviewed uh, some of us. And at the end of the interview, uh, they asked me who I thought was my hero. And it's kind of interesting because I've never been asked that question before. And I had to really th uh, reach back and think about it. And, and my answer was Patrick Hughes. And I was going to 
that was going to be the end of my speech tonight, and I was going to actually introduce my hero, Patrick Hughes, but Patrick had to go home, unfortunately. So, anyway, to Patrick Hughes, my hero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing him and for uh, giving him the story. Thank you. 